I am back in Bakersfield. It is about 1 p.m. and the temperature is 86 degrees. Kind of hazy, which could be good for painting, you know, create some uh, atmosphere. Anyway, I'm meeting up with my friend Ryan. I met him through the Kern County Plein Air Festival. When you do Plein Air Festivals, often they have you stay with a host family. And Ryan was kind enough to host me for this festival. So I hung out and stayed there for the week. And um, so anyway, I'm on my way home to the Bay Area from LA and uh, reached out to him and asked him if he wanted to go paint. All right, so I just got a bean burrito, and uh, so it's like rice and beans, refried beans, and so far so good. Definitely hot out here. Really hot. Alright, well I made it. Take a look at what you've been up to. One of my favorite ones I've done so far. Kern uh, River Canyon? The base of the uh, Kern River Canyon. What size is that? It's a uh, 24 by 36 I believe. 24 by 36. Alright, cool. Would that be like a 12 by 48 maybe? Yeah. You're painting outdoors with acrylics. Yeah, I it, use acrylics. Um, so it's a little bit different because it dries really quick in this heat. So it's been a... Uh, it's been a little bit of a tough hassle. Ha, uh, have you been using like a spray bottle and stuff? Yeah, right I've now? got a little squirt bottle and I'll use that. And um, somebody told me something about putting a little uh, touch of Dawn in the in the water. Oh, some soap? And it, yeah, and it, it, it uh, kind of thins it. Oh, it okay. It keeps uh, a little moist longer, so. Very cool. That. You got really good distance on those hills. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. All right. This one was uh, right before uh, the base of uh, the Tehachapi Mountains. Um, in a turn off and I didn't even have rinse water that's where I filled it from the, the side road puddle oh yeah and uh, when I started the storm was intense and all these mountains in the back were just dark I couldn't even see them um, and the sky was dark gray but I was there for a good hour or two and it went through the rain to this to that and so the light just changed so much I saw that little video where you took your cup and you filled yeah. it up from a puddle I realized I don't have any fucking water to mix my shit, so I just use some of this water. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I was cracking oh, right. up. No, I, I hey, no you gotta water. do it, man. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm thinking of something like this maybe. It's gonna be a high key painting. Okay, so Ryan is set up over here and I'm just a little ways over here. So you guys notice what kind of palette uh, Ryan is using? I was just talking about this with Araya a few days ago that hardly any painters use a handheld uh, palette anymore, but it just seems like it makes sense and then I show up here and Ryan's using one. I've tried multiple ways, I just, uh... I feel more comfortable just having it on me at all times. Here's his uh, setup, and that's like, what is that, a 24, uh, 24 36? By 36? 24 by 36. Got the usual here, and I kind of turn my easel so that I'm not getting like the bright glare on the panel. Okay, so today I'm going to do my sketch using uh, a little bit of burnt sienna and actually some yellow ochre to keep keep the sketch lighter because I want this to be a really high key painting because there's a lot of atmosphere and there are not a lot of strong darks. All right, so here's the composition. I've got some clouds up here. Uh, this is a distant hill right there. And then there's a road leading in here. These are some distant trees. So we've got sort of a zigzag pattern.
probably 95 degrees out here. Liquid in this heat dries really fast, so I got to keep cleaning the pallet. I tend to uh, not look at what I'm painting as much. Right, you just start getting into like your head. Yeah. That's what I did too. All right, so there's what I came up with. Okay, so Ryan had to take off. Uh, we've been out here about three hours. I think the average temperature is probably about 95 degrees. So pretty warm. Uh, actually, the toughest thing though is these foxtails. They get in your shoes and they're so sharp. And my socks are filled with them. I'm tired. <laughs> and I've got a four and a half hour drive ahead of me back to San Francisco. I stopped off at an Arco AM PM mini market. I want to give them a shout out because I actually filled up my coffee uh, container for $1.09. I always carry around a bag of Trader Joe's apples with me when I'm traveling. Today I've eaten four, I think. I, I don't know if there's a limit on how many is healthy to eat. Okay, so I pulled over here somewhere in the Central Valley. I'm in the hills by Kalinga. I'm not exactly sure where. It's really beautiful out right now. It's about 80 degrees still. Comfortable, breezy, quiet, and there are beautiful clouds. So, and light. Like the light in the sky is amazing. So every time I drive down to LA, I sort of remember or realize how large this state is. There's so much open space. We tend to go to places like San Francisco and LA, but there's miles and miles and miles of open space in between. And I'd like to start exploring these sort of hill areas. There's nice clouds, hills. Uh, I don't know, but I don't even know where you'd stay out here. Plus two in the summertime, it's like 105 degrees. It could be cool to like stay in a cheap hotel, get up early, paint the early morning and then go back to your air-conditioned hotel have some food rest edit a video or whatever and then go back out in the evening but there's plenty to paint out here mm -hmm. 